Simplify a rational expression like this, I can take it piece by piece. If I first look at the numerical part, I can do that just like I would simplify a fraction. I notice that between the 6 and 15, they are both divisible by 3. So this can be reduced to 2 over 5. 2 times 3 is 6, and uh, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. So I've reduced the numerical part to 2 over 5. On the side, let me look at the x's for a second. x to the 4th means that I have x times x times x times x. That's just its definition. In the denominator, I have a single x. So notice what happens is that that single x cancels out with one of the x's above, leaving me with x cubed. So really what I'm doing is I'm taking um, the exponent of this one, and I subtract the invisible exponent of this one, because that's how many I need to take away. So I end up with an x cubed on the top. With the y's, it's going to work out in a similar fashion. y cubed on the top means y times y times y, whereas y to the seventh means seven y's multiplied together. So, when I simplify, three y's on the top are going to cancel with three y's on the bottom, leaving me with four y's in my denominator over here. So the y's cancel up here, and I get y to the fourth in my denominator up here. So let me just clean this up. My final simplified version is 2x cubed over 5y to the fourth. The number part I simplified just as I would any fraction looking for a common factor that went into them. For the, then I look at each variable individually. For the x's, the one x in the denominator canceled out one in the numerator leaving me with three. And for the y's, the three in the numerator canceled out uh, three of the ones in the denominator, leaving me with four in the denominator. Hope that helps. Thank you.